Hey guys, so today I have um, kind of an easy project. It might be kind of a fun little project. And I'm gonna update you on that pumpkins that we did the other day. And I have another idea for this other pumpkin. I have no idea how it's gonna come out, but we're gonna figure it out. Anyway, so the other day I was out and about um, and I came across these slate tiles and I saw them and I was like, don't you make awesome tombstones? And they weren't very expensive. I think I paid like two bucks a piece for them. So I picked up like five of them. And what I'm doing is I'm doing something like tombstones. Um, my penmanship isn't that great. So I'm not kind of writing on them, but I do have tons of stencils. Um, I do have some letter stencils. Um, you can use stencils for pumpkins. Um, these are real easy kind of stencils. Um, I had some that I had from years ago. Um, this one's a scary face. Um, this one says, boo. Uh, then I have some bats too. So I figured you could just put all these onto um, these slate tops. I already did some of them, but I saved the last one so I can show you all what I'm doing. This one is a, uh, uh, a stencil of a skeleton. So all I did was I just took the um, stencil and I put it on my slate tile. Lined it up pretty good. And then I used this white wax pencil and I just highlighted it on the outside, I just kind of traced it out onto my slate. So once I, uh, have that on my slate, um, then I have my, I don't know if you can see that, it's all stenciled, or stenciled on there. So then I was like, what can I use to put on there? And they have these pen markers. These are Sharpie ones. Um, they have wider ones, they have this really thick marker. You also can get them in different colors. I got gold and silver too, but I don't think gold and silver really is going to show up very good on these slate tiles, but the white does. The white shows up really good. So they're just paint markers, um, and they're actually an oil-based paint, so I don't think they'll wash off when they're outside. And so then I just go and I just fill in where I traced. Anyway, that's it. I think this would be a really good project for your family and you. Um, you don't have to use slate tiles, of course. You could just use cardboard and cut them out. But you can definitely use um, stencils, uh, markers. You can write on them. You can put your names on them. You can put your kids' names on them. You can put dates on them. Um, you could have a lot of fun with these. So you can just take these and then put them in the yard and uh, have a little bit of Halloween decoration. I think these are kind of cool. And I did this one, as you can just see, I just did it together. Um, I also did one that said boo on it. 
Add this one with the scary face, and then you can just write down on the bottom someone's name. This one says beware with a uh, spider and some more bats. This one's rest in peace, another spider. So these are all kind of fun. I really think they're cool. So that project's done. Now on to, this is an update on the terracotta pumpkin that we did. Um, you remember right after I painted it, I covered it with flour, made a huge mess. Um, there was flour everywhere. It was on the floor, on the carpet. It was pretty much everywhere. So I would highly suggest doing this outside. But after it was done, you know, you can touch it and the flour was still gonna come off and everything. So I didn't know how to put a sealer on it because I figured anything was wet would cause the flour to no longer look like flour on it. Um, so what I ended up using was hairspray. And I did it really fine, a fine mist of hairspray on it. I did a couple coats and it pretty much kept all the flour on there. So still looks like a terracotta pumpkin. The other pumpkin that we did, if you remember right, we used plaster of Paris. So it kind of looks like a cement pumpkin. This one I didn't have to do any sealing to because um, once that plaster of Paris dried, it was fine. But um, I want to go one step further with this one. And that is to make it look like it has metal corroding on the pumpkin itself. Um, kind of like copper does. I don't know if you can see on that. See how the copper has the, that turquoisey greenish color? So I was wondering if I did that with paint and watered it down and just let it drip down the cracks on the pumpkin, what that would look like. So we're gonna try that. So I have some containers. Um, notice on my uh, pumpkin color theme. Be impressed. And here's my pumpkin. So I have some colors here. I have a copper color, some green. This one's like a turquoise color and I think this will work the best. Um, I had some other turquoise color and another green metallic. That's more Christmassy though, I think, than anything else. So I think I'm just gonna try it with um, this gold or copper. Copper and this uh, metallic turquoise color. I think that's will work the best. And I'm gonna just water it down. Are you scared? I have paper towels and napkins in case I make a mess. So let's just try this. Okay, now for the turquoise part.
So what do y'all think? You think it looks like a corroded copper metal? Or did I just make a mess? Anyway, it was worth a try. It was a fun little project. And we'll see what it looks like when it dries. Anyway, that was a bunch of projects for today. Um, I hope that uh, uh, at least this part came out okay. I'm not sure if I would do it again. I'd probably just buy regular pumpkins. But I really did like the uh, tombstone idea. Um, this one, we'll see what it looks like after it dries. Anyway, hope you're all having a great day, and I will talk to you in the next project. Bye.